know that I was done, but just getting started, bitch, I'm far for finish. Gotta keep a rod up in the shot, and I ain't talking Dennis. And I'm asking by if anybody trying to. What's the word, YouTube? It's Harry Face D. Lace, and I'm back with another reaction video. Right now, we back with a special video. This is something a little different from what I usually do, but when I find videos like this, I love to watch them. I love to interact with these type of videos, but this is something very, very different. Now, if y'all watch sports, y'all know who this is. This is the sports analyst, Malika Andrews, and I be seeing a lot of different stuff about her on social media. I see a lot of stuff talking about somehow she goes at the black players a little differently and how she always tries to amplify their mistakes in the media, and she always wants to call them out on different things on the media, and people are trying to take offense to that now on the flip side i don't know you feel me i feel like some stuff could be coincidental i also feel like she's a woman and sometimes when certain things happen they want to actually put it they, 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 they love to put business out there that's just that's just, that just in them they love to just put people business out there and just make people try to stand on what they whatever they said so i don't know this could be a woman thing or this could be a malicious thing i don't know but i'm about to see what y'all talking about in this video because y'all be talking crazy about her on the media i ain't gonna lie i've seen it for the last couple of months I don't know where it, well, y'all show me where it came from, but I personally don't know what made people start realizing this or just start calling her out on it, but we finna see what they talking about this video, man. If y'all gotta make a whole video about it, it's about the puppet of ESPN, then we ain't, we gonna see. We gonna see what y'all saying, man. So if you're new to the channel, what I need you to do right now is come join the family. Come join the game, man. Hit subscribe button, hit the like button on this video. At 10K subs, we'll be doing a big giveaway for two subs on this channel, man. So if you wanna be a part of that, all you gotta do is do something that costs you $0.00. And zero cent. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, man. And you can share the channel as well. That's also free on nine, but that's up to y'all. Follow me on my social, something right here in the rest of the description down below. And let's see what y'all are talking about, man. Ultimate hater of black human beings. The ultimate hater. There is nothing about her existence that says I'm black and I'm proud. Be remiss not to also mention that Missoula was arrested twice in West Virginia, once in 2008 for underage drinking and aggravated assault. Adrian Payne was shot and killed in Orlando, Florida, early Monday morning. In 2018, he was waived by the magic after he was named in a report by ESPN's Outside the Lines that he'd been involved in an alleged sexual assault. His name is See what I mean? Now, stuff like this, right? I notice a lot of women, when people, when they have no remorse when people pass away or something happens to them, and then and say they have a situation that involves a woman in the past, they have no remorse for them. So at some points I can kind of see, now don't get me wrong, her timing is terrible. Very terrible, I ain't gonna lie, very toxic timing. But at the same time, a lot of women have this thing where they just can't, they can't forgive, bro. They can't forgive, at least in the media. They can't forgive like in public, they just can't forgive. So if something happened along the way with, with them and another female or something like that, they just can't forgive it, bro. Like I ain't gonna, it's just something that they just do. But I don't know. We gonna see. We gonna see, man. And on ESPN, do they have like teleprompters in the background telling them what to say, or just like her just going on her own dialogue, like this is her own little monologue or something? Involving a case with his former teammate and another man, they've been indicted for capital. Because all and the NBA, all of these situations have to do with like women. Something happening with women was for their people, annoying you know? journalistic tendencies. But considering the recent involvements, one member of the NBA media stands out among all. She goes by Malika Andrews. In her short career in basketball media, Malika has already swiftly established herself as a very disliked figure for various reasons. Whether it be from taking and I'm keeping it a bug, y'all. I, I I don't I don't know Malika Andrews. You know what I'm saying I don't know, but she does rub me the wrong way. I don't know what it is, but she does. I don't know if it's because of this or what. But I don't know. She just seemed like dry and uninterested a lot of times. I think that's really what it is for me is targeting specific groups of people or just arguing out of bad faith she's not unfamiliar to any of it but despite these concerning incidents the recent large-scale firing in an attempt to cut costs by espn saw the exit of many experienced and clean slated analysts and hosts including jalen rose jeff and gundy and max kellerman now let's be real max i loved max you know what i'm saying for for, for, for the for the entertainment quality he was great but the nigga said with the world on the line, he wants Andre Iguodala taking the last shot. Do you realize we would all be dead? Do y'all realize we would all not be here right now if it was if that if the world was up to Max Kellerman, to my Andre Iguodala? Nigga said Kawhi was better than Kobe. So I don't know. And Jalen Rose, he be saying a lot of just nothing. He tell me he don't be talking about nothing for real. And then Jeff Van Gundy, he be dick riding. The whole playoffs, he dick riding. 
right. It was that right. And I'm a Warriors fan, so I'm I speak from a Warriors fan point of view. He hates everything that we do, bro. He always dick riding the opposite team, bro. I don't like it. And he always criticizing the NBA and their rules and stuff like that. So I don't know. It, it, it could be a lot of underlying reasons why the people got fired, bro. Y'all gotta really go beyond that. Andrews and remained untouched, causing outbursts in the community. While unsurprising, there was no doubt that NBA players, fans, and even her co-workers aren't fond of her. Why is she still <clears throat> such a favorite at ESPN? This is just one of the many questions. And she likes skin. Oh, they got so many reasons to not like her. Before I ain't gonna lie, bro. That's more recently, the spotlight returned on Malika after the 2023 NBA draft, where Malika Andrews publicly read out dramatized headlines of Brandon Miller's past. And I don't. And I don't like the fact that they steady talking about. It's not even her, bro. They bring it up a lot. Like they kind of stopped starting during the summer league, but bro, they always talk like bro. He didn't. He didn't. This this case happened so long ago last year. Like this was like the last season, but this is like February, November. Like you know, what I'm saying it was a long time ago, bro. And I'm pretty sure this is something he want to get away from because it has nothing to do with him. He's not involved in this situation. Even the police determined that, and y'all still want to bring it up. This is not his situation. That's his teammate situation. It's not his situation. So if I was him, I would be pissed that this even gets brought up by her or anybody. I ain't gonna lie. Like, false and man, because she's not the only one that do it, y'all. to tarnish his name. Some claim this was an unintended attack. But judging by Andrews' previous public comments, this incident targeting someone like Brandon Miller should have come at no surprise. Previous encounters saw her get into ill-intended exchanges with Giannis Antetokounmpo, Matt Barnes, and Stephen A. Smith, just to name a few. But before we get into how these altercations I want to see that one. Let's rewind the clock <sighs> and better understand who Malika Andrews is. Y'all gonna do a deep dive into Malika Andrews? This is Malika looking Malika Andrews wild. was born in January 1995 in Oakland, California. Oh my God, she light skinned with a white mama, bro. I'm telling y'all, this is this is not gonna go well for her, bro. Anytime a girl is light skinned and she's first of all, for some reason they automatically get hated on. I don't know. People say it's because I know light skinned people say because everybody thinks you're pretty and all that. But I, me personally, I don't think of that color shit. Just because you light skinned don't mean you're pretty. It's because of dark skin don't mean you're pretty or ugly. That's because of white don't mean you're pretty or ugly. Like, I don't get it, bro. Like, I don't get the color thing. But nevertheless, people are like that, bro. But she's light-skinned, bro. Got a white parent, bro. <sighs> this is just, this is too easy for them to hate on her. I ain't gonna lie. Especially trainer people. father and an art teacher mother. She attended a private co-education prep school called Head Roy School, and she proved to be great academically. Although things seemed to be going great, behind closed doors, it was a different story. Malika Andrews would later claim that as a middle schooler, she was angry, depressed, and anxious, and suffered from multiple eating disorders. She would state that from 14 years old, she would be in survival mode, later admitting to her parents that she may need some professional help. As a result, her parents would enroll her into a therapeutic boarding school in Utah at 14 years old. If you didn't know, a therapeutic boarding school is a school. And you can kind of see that what like her dry demeanor, like she has no emotions on screen for real. Like you can kind of see that. Like she kind of looks like I don't even want to. I don't want to go too deep into it, but she kind of looks like she just has really no personality for real. She just be talking for real. Like she, don't, I don't remember her laughing for real. even when she laughed. I guess it just be dry. Like I don't know. Schooling and housing environment for students with emotional or behavioral issues. I could definitely see that. Regardless, she would get through these tough times and graduate high school in 2012, and would later work at a civil rights law firm with her grandpa for a year before she began her communications degree at the University of Portland. During her time in college, she would take on the journalistic roles at the university, where she was a sports writer, sports editor, and editor-in-chief. After graduation, Malika would introduce herself to Adrian Wojnarowski at the 2017 Summer League, but it would be years later until they would work together at ESPN. Anyways, her academic results and diverse portfolio of work at her university would still earn her various internship offers. Coming out of college, she worked one year with the Chicago Tribune before joining ESPN as a reporter, covering the Chicago Bulls and Milwaukee Bucks. While Malika was closely covering the Bucks first Raptors and see, series, when you hear her story, it kind of makes you respect her and see her in a different light, though. I ain't gonna lie. 2019 was no, when the first controversial incident would arise, following the Milwaukee Bucks' series defeat to the Raptors in the Eastern Conference Finals. A tense situation unfolded between Malika Andrews and Giannis Antetokounmpo during a post-game press conference. You guys have talked a lot about how um, at 
this point, you know, sometimes it takes experience. I'm wondering if now that you have some of that experience, you see more validity to that point or what you think about that now that you've gone? As you can clearly see, as soon as Malika begins talking, Giannis's face changes before he later walks out of the room. The reason as to why Giannis left was that within a short 15 to 20 minute time frame following his team's exit from the playoffs, Giannis would be notified of an article written by Malika Andrews. In the article, Malika had gone into great detail about Giannis's perspective on his future at Milwaukee with free agency approaching. The article basically created the narrative that his commitment to remaining in Milwaukee was based on whether the Bucs reached the NBA Finals or not. As a result, Giannis would not say a single word and see himself out, due to seemingly not wanting to partake in a conversation with her at all, as it seemed her journalism methods didn't sit right with him. Although some will claim Giannis is overreacting and that Malika was only doing her job, the subsequent controversies that emerged shortly after left the NBA community even more stunned. As time went on, Malika Andrews began being given bigger opportunities at ESPN. In late 2021, due to a diversity requirement and being set up, top ESPN host of six years, Rachel Nichols, was fired by- They said being set up, dang! Hey, they got her real life. They said the puppet of ESPN, they serious. They going hard on that side. Oh, I ain't gonna let Jay. They said she got set up. Invasive methods were used to spy on her and set her up. Oh, bro. Anyways, this role later opened up to Malika Andrews, an ideal candidate in the role- Hello, key ESPN. Y'all been to bro, ever since y'all made a lot of these different moves that y'all made, bro, y'all, 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 bro, y'all platform been going down a little bit. I don't know if ESPN and, you know what I'm saying, will never just completely fall off, I don't think. But even me personally, I don't watch first uh, first take and all that for real, unless something real big is going on. I don't really watch that. I watch, I'd rather watch the basketball podcast from the actual NBA players or people. I watch through, through the Wire podcast. There were B-team, freshman B-team basketball players. I'd rather watch them. Pick a side. I'd rather watch them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even want to watch ESPN because who are y'all? Some of y'all never, at least they even, at least they play basketball and kind of have some, you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all never even play basketball. What basketball did Malika Andrews play? She just there just talking about people's situation. She doesn't even talk about the game for real. Fit diversity requirements. And soon, Malika Andrews would become a regular host. That this is why it's getting drier, bro. Y'all picked early the wrong host. Malika would get into it with Matt Barnes during a LeBron versus Kobe debate. No, I'm not, I'm definitely it's, it's not saying that. that, but what I'm saying is Kobe would get in, like, he would not let the sure, win of his teammates Sure, but if you in someone's face and it doesn't slide. turn into wins, then you're just getting in somebody's face. But it's going to be a problem the entire season. Months later, she would get into another debate with ex-NBA players. You can't I'm, I'm look at a person. Yes, you yeah, but you're yeah, making no, an assumption. Yes, you, can. you can't no, look at a yes, person so, yeah. and know yes, what so. their intent was. There is no doubt that Malika's ego is in her way during these arguments, forgetting that she's debating ex NBA players about. Matt. Yeah, I think it becomes a thing with her, and like a lot of a lot of them is like. I'm sorry for pausing a lot, y'all, but I got a lot to say. I'm, I love basketball. I'm sorry, I got a lot to say, bro. And I watch this stuff for real, so. When it comes to her, bro, yeah, I realize, bro, she's a woman amongst all men at the end of the day. So she feels like she has to overly uh, prove that she ha that she should be there. You know what I'm saying? And she has to. She, it's like this thing. You know, women want to prove that they're on the same level as men. They can do this, blah, 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 right? But she's not. She's thinking about it the wrong way. That's how she's thinking, but that's not the right way to think in these situations. You're trying to tell ex-NBA players how NBA minds work and how people should, you know what I'm saying, people should move when they know exactly how NBA players think, how they move, how they shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? But you letting your pride, your ego of this man and women thing that really is not existing in this situation. Matt Barnes, Richard Jefferson, and Kendrick Perkins don't care if you're a woman or not. Woj is a grown man and he's sitting up there shutting up. Cause he, he what he's supposed to say? You feel me? Like he has, you have, you can have your opinion, but that don't mean it's right. You know what I'm saying? And that don't mean that, because uh, because honestly, their opinion is a little bit more valid than yours because they have experience. You know what I'm saying? Like firsthand experience. You know what I'm saying? So at the highest levels, they all got rent. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't know, man. I think she just be thinking just about stuff it was in, a, in a another way, bro. Was yet to come. In September 2022, reports came out that Celtics head coach- And y'all see, every situation that they about to bring up has something to do with hurting a woman in some way, whether it's emotionally, because the email thing, he didn't physically hurt any women. He cheated on his wife. 
with another woman in the city that he wasn't supposed to. You know what I'm saying? Anything that has to do with a woman, she's going to overly be mad about and overly have this crazy, not a crazy opinion, but she's going to have this super harsh opinion on it and she's going to just target the black man or the man. It's, it's black. Only reason why I'm going to say black men is because they, these men are just black. But I'm sure these are white men, they should be saying the same thing. You know what I'm saying? But obviously they're all black men because they're the NBA. Most of the NBA is black. You feel me? Ime Udoka was exposed for having a consensual relationship with a member consensual. of the staff, breaking team rules, later resulting in his suspension as their head coach for the entire season that followed. In response to the situation and later suspension of Udoka, many members of the NBA media would give their input, including Stephen A. Smith. Stephen would come to the defense of Udoka, pointing out the hypocrisy with the entire publicized incident involving Ime. Every single sport, there's people messing around with each other within an organization. Yep. It happens all the time. That is the problem with this issue. This black man that you got up here, we're talking about him on national television because you publicize a personal matter where there's a whole bunch of issues. And I don't like when they say black man because, bro, we know a lot of white people. That have been through this same situation and it was publicized, bro. It's a white coach right now, West Virginia, that just got he had they basically said he resigned, but they really they really forced him to resign because he was because he kept getting caught being drunk and all this other stuff, bro. White men get put on blast too, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This was just crazy because like bro, y'all gotta realize y'all can't just say black men all the time because bro, it's just automatically gonna be a black man because it's the NBA. Most of the NBA is black. On top of that, this was a big situation because he was looked at he just took a team in his first year to the championship and lost to the Warriors this was fresh off that you know what I'm saying and he was looked at as one of the best he just first year he took his team to the championship he was looked at as probably the best young coach in the league so this was big that's why it's not like he's just a random coach and this is happening no bro this was a big situation bro and they hell and you gotta realize this didn't come out for like two months this was already a thing for a little minute you know what I'm saying so I, don't, I hate when they put a race on it. Because it really has nothing to do with his race, bro. And, other sports. We don't hear about their and I really don't care about race. I don't have to proceed to get the league heated and on our high horse. Stephen A., with all due respect, this Stephen. is not about pointing the finger. We are not here, Stephen A., to further blame women. That is not See what I mean? why we are here. So Stephen A. had to show her who was the real boss. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just like you're not mentioning. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Ha ha! Remember that? Yeah, Stephen A. Yeah, tell her, tell her. Tell her, because I'm telling y'all, bro, I already know, bro, it's her, bro, women are just, they just don't have a, they don't have the capacity to really think through stuff for real, bro. They're so emotional. They don't even realize that's not even a point he's trying to make. You're taking something so out of context, it's ridiculous. He said nothing about the woman. I remember this whole situation. You talking about a woman, he talking about, you made you dope. He talking about the situation being publicized. And you talking about blaming women, bro. He didn't do it. Because the relationship was consensual. They're both to blame. He not the only one. He just got the bigger title and the bigger name. They both did something wrong. Like, are you cool? Tell me I don't blame women. She's to blame some too. They take 50-50. He's not more wrong because he's the head coach. He's just more bogus because he had more of a he had more of a, a more to lose. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Stop it. You. Stop it. You're Malika. the one telling stop. me to stop hate my show. It ain't happening. However, when discussing the same topic on Malika's show, things went a little different with Kendrick Perkins. This relationship that was had with Ime Udoka and one of these women, it was consensual, meaning that this woman actually played a part in it too. So my thing is, yes, Ime Udoka was wrong. We get that. His punishment, he deserved that, and whatever else follows, I hate it for him, but he put himself in this position. But why are the other people getting left off the hook? Well, That's the Kendrick, problem that I Kendrick, have right now. Kendrick, Everybody got to be held Kendrick, accountable. It is unfair and irresponsible of us to go and to speculate on that because speculate on what? It's consensual. It's not a speculation. It was an investigation done. That's what I'm saying. Women don't want no blame. That's the, a lack of accountability. It was literally a relationship between both of them that was consensual. It was consensual. 
We're just saying both of them, you know what I'm saying? Why, why aren't both of them being talked about? She don't even get named. That's how much respect she has in this situation. She doesn't even get named. To this day, we still don't know who the woman is. You know what I'm saying? Like, she just be taking it a little too extra, too far. Like, this make me, this make, this, y'all changing my mind. Get her off ESPN. Get her off ESPN. Y'all, y'all making me mad. Get her off. Get her off ESPN. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, y'all got me mad about it. No. Well, I'm not, I'm not speculating. I have the information. I'm not and he played for the Boston Celtics, Goofy. You think he don't know a little bit more than you? He's locked in. That's family. Goofball, boy. That whatever rule, the conduct that was broken on one side is not the same on the other side. I it think. is actually. Although it's he just made more money. Malika, the reality of the situation they both is deeper, cheap. and they only point to Malika Andrews as merely just a messenger. Because the truth is, Malika Andrews fits in perfectly as the ideal candidate to promote the woke or feminist narrative that most media tend to push. I think these clips of Jalen Rose may just prove this. We know his name. Um, maybe I'm missing something as it relates to the law, but why we don't know her name? It's not like she's a minor. I feel like we should know her name publicly as well. After openly sharing his potentially controversial opinion, Rose would swiftly make an apology soon after, taking back everything he said. And I would like to apologize for a comment I made earlier on NBA Countdown. I question why a woman's name who had an alleged affair with Celtics head coach Ime Adoka was not made public. I think it's pretty obvious what ESPN- Like, why you have to apologize for that? It's facts. And after assistant coach Joe Mazzula was named interim coach Weird, after Udoka's suspension, this is what Malika said to welcome him. Mazzula was arrested twice at West Virginia, once in 2008 for underage drinking and aggravated assault. Like, whoa, Malika, hey, now you look bad. Now you look bad. I didn't know this. I never saw this. Like I said, I don't watch ESPN like that for real. Like I watch it when big things happen and and you feel me, Joe Mazzula becoming the actual, you know what I'm saying? That's not really a big thing. Like we kind of saw that coming. But this I never seen this clip. Why do we need to know Joe Mazzula got a like what? He's in college. How old is bro? What it got to do with him? This he got the biggest promotion of his career and you're talking about what he did in college? She get her off ESPN. Get her off. And then again in 2009 for domestic battery after an incident at Morgantown Bar. You might be wondering, is Malika okay? How does it make sense to bring up someone's criminal history from 13 years ago in a situation where no crimes were committed under the law? However, when considering Malika's recent comments made about Brandon Miller, a clear yet disturbing pattern is becoming evident. To add to this, around a month after the Ime Udoka situation, during a segment reporting on the death of former Michigan State player no, Adrian boy Payne, too. I hate it when she did this. This is what Malika had to say about Payne. Adrian Payne was shot and killed in Orlando, Florida. Played four Look at her face, no emotion. In 2018, he was waived by the Magic after he was named in a report by ESPN's Outside the Lines that he'd been involved in an alleged sexual assault at Michigan Like, bro, get her off ESPN. Tell her to walk. Tell her to take a walk and don't open the door when she come back. Like, bro, no, I don't like this, bro. I don't like this at all. I don't like this. Now that I'm really looking at this, bro, because I be forgetting that she do a lot of this snake weird type energy type stuff. Get her off, bro. Or don't have her make these announcements, bro. Have somebody else do it. Don't let her do none of that, bro. Like, mm -mm, she blowing me, bro. And don't let her do color commentating on the games. It's going to be even worse. Again, the pattern of unnecessarily Ugh. airing out the criminal history of black men during a time of Look at it, bro. It's continues. blowing me. <laughs> so the question remains, it's blowing me, bro. Did she these words of her own accord? Or was she just reading from a script? If she indeed chose to bring up this incident unprompted, it reveals a deep-rooted hatred towards black men. If she didn't, then it brings up a deeper issue within the roots of the organization. Regardless, this doesn't take from the fact this that- This is a white man talking about deep-rooted hatred for black men, bro. Okay, I don't think it's black men, y'all. I honestly truly don't believe it's black men. I think we're in a league where it's predominantly black. So coincidentally, it's going to be black men. But if it was a white man, I'm sure it would be the same thing. Now, if it was white men that they brought up and they had other prior, prior situations that she knew about and she didn't bring it up, that's different. 
But I think when you dealing the, when you're in the league, you dealing with predominantly black men, it's easy to just narrate it and make it seem it's that way. But I'm not sure if it's black men because I don't like to just put those type of, those type of accusations on people because those are deep accusations to make on somebody that you don't have a clue. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. But she definitely don't like me. Is the one making these absurd and damaging statements? Following this statement, it wouldn't be long until Malika Andrews' antics on television would again turn heads. While welcoming Jalen Rose back during a segment of a show, this happened. Get your finger out of my armpit. We're just happy to see Jalen Rose. Welcome. As you can clearly Armor, see, Jalen's hand is by no means under Malika's armpit. And even if it was, why does that need to be brought up on the spot in such an accusatory manner? Nevertheless, another baseless accusation by Malika, and Jalen Rose had to find out the hard way. To add to these two instances involving Ime Udoka and Adrian Payne, more recently Malika Andrews would bring up an alleged Brandon Miller incident on draft night. His name did they done been said, said this like 12 times, times didn't they? Former teammate and another man, they've been indicted for capital murder. Many claim this as unnecessary and undoubtedly an attempt to tarnish Miller's name. Just it really is though, bro. He's men. been named in this situation. So old, Malika bro. They been said context, he had nothing to do with his case. The sensationalized headline aimed at portraying Miller in the most negative light imaginable within a short segment. After Dang, they said, maybe she do hate black men. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. Ah, it looks bad, bro. Cause like I said, the league is predominantly black, so it can't look that way. But I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know. Brandon Miller was never charged for the incident in January. Ever. Her airing out a blanket, incriminating accusation adds to another example of Malika Andrews showing contempt towards black men. Oh my God. Although Malika Andrews has not had the easiest upbringing by any means, this does not excuse you her don't actions. Care. There's no denying that she's Look at Richard. established herself as a disliked figure in NBA media. Yeah, yeah I ain't going to lie. Y'all got to get her out of there. She got to go. Not just her typical journalistic she gotta tendencies. She got to go. It disturbing Oops. Yeah, she got to go. She got to go, y'all. Malika Andrews, she got to go. I ain't going to lie. I don't like it. I don't like what I'm seeing. I don't like what I'm hearing, y'all. Um, I de Yeah, she got to go. She got to go. She got to go. I be forgetting about a lot of this stuff. Yeah, she has to go. I ain't going to lie. She don't. Yeah, no. Nah. She's too tough. Nah, she's toxic. She has to go. She, <laughs> she has to go. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this in the comment section. Make sure I leave a like and leave a subscribe uh, if y'all are new. But Malika got to go. ESPN handle that. I ain't gonna lie. Don't let her make no more announcements. None of that. Bring Rachel Nichols back. You feel me? Do what y'all got to do because she's not it. She's not it. She's not it at all. I don't fault with Thought I was done, but just getting started, bitch, I'm far from finish. Gotta keep a ride up in the shot, and I ain't talking dentist. And I'm asking by if anybody trying to...